Good morning, Bella girl. Yes, we can hold hands. Yes, we can. But no biting. No biting. All right, I want to show you what we've learned. Stay. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Also, um, since she was in heat, now that she's done, she has changed. She has, she still bites me all the time and tries to nibble my fingers, but she's not eating up anything else. You know, that was a heat. Stop. You know, when she got here, about a week after she got here, she started eating everything in sight. And I left my work boots and socks out on the deck for several days. And in a matter of minutes before, those socks would have been who knows where. And this time, nothing. So that's fun, that's great. So I was not expecting the response that I got on uh, the last video, which just came out yesterday. This is Wednesday. So I'm kind of still reeling from all of it. Many of you called me brave for doing that video. Um, but to be completely honest with you, it was actually a bit cowardly. That video was originally meant for next level gardening. That would have been more brave. You know, I've mentioned before that this channel, Next Level Homestead, is more of a community, a family, friends that can talk about things and not get mad at each other. And you can be open and you don't have to worry about inciting a riot. And that was kind of reinforced looking in the comments of the last video. I was worried that an all out brawl might happen in the comments because comments were made on both sides of the issue and yet there was, there was no fighting. But choosing to put that video on this channel versus next level gardening was not brave. It was the path of least resistance. It was the safest way to do it. I truly wanted that video's message to get out to as many people as possible for the reasons I stated in that video. And yet I put it on a channel with 45,000 subscribers versus a channel with almost a million subscribers. I was scared. Next Level Gardening is my family's livelihood and I didn't want to risk that. However, I was overwhelmed with the performance of that video. I wasn't expecting it. I was shocked at the comment section that so many people were in agreement with how I was feeling. The thought that we might be being groomed for control slowly and methodically. Every so often throughout history, certain segments of the general population will rise up in rebellion to something that's going on in the country or the world. I never thought that we simple gardeners would be the next ones to do so, to become the rebels of society. And that's the feeling I got reading the comments in that video. There's a famous quote by Henry Kissinger where he said, he who controls the food supply controls the people. Something to think about. As much as I was afraid to put my opinions on Next Level Gardening, I was also afraid of poisoning the positive space that this channel is with negative subject matter. I think a lot of people tune into my channel to kind of escape the stress and the craziness of the world. And I didn't want to ruin that for anybody. Yes, this humble plot of land with its gardens and animals are my sanctuary, and I've come to realize it might be your sanctuary too, and I don't take that lightly. But in reading the comments, I started to feel like instead of a negative thing, this could be kind of a higher purpose thing that a lot of positive could come from. 
and that we can still all come here for happiness and peace. And at the same time, share our common struggles and frustrations in a place that we're supported and have common ground. Gardening rebelliously and living defiantly was kind of a theme in the comments of the last video and one that I actually really loved because those two things can actually happen in the midst of peace and tranquility. I mean, they can. I know that peace and tranquility and, you know, gardening rebelliously, living defiantly, they don't seem to go hand in hand, but I think my goal on this channel is to set an example of how, how you can actually do that. It may be a tall order, but it's one I'm up to tackling with your support and we can support each other. I know this seems like the weirdest pivot ever, but in The Walking Dead, <laughs> there was this peaceful, safe place. It was a town called Alexandria. And while the world outside Alexandria was full of the most horrific things, inside Alexandria, life was peaceful. They were even gardening. I noticed that right away. Now we won't discuss what happened to Alexandria later, but for me, and maybe for some of you, this here, Sky Ridge, is my Alexandria. And while the world rages outside, I'm gonna be here, keeping my head down, work in my gardens, be with my family, my animals, and you. I want to encourage you to make your own Alexandria. Okay, I got to stop with the Walking Dead metaphors. I want to encourage you to make your own Sky Ridge. It doesn't matter what size property you have. You can make a place of refuge in any size property. You don't have to have an acre and a half like me, larger, smaller. I built my own refuge at our last house on a typical suburban smaller lot. I blocked out the neighbors put in what I loved, and I will tell you, when I had my health issues, it became a life-saving and healing place for me. I've even seen balcony gardens that have been made into places of solace and refuge. So hopefully in what I'm doing here, I can inspire you and educate you and entertain you. But most of all, I hope to encourage you, to encourage you to no matter what's happening out there, it's okay. Be positive, be optimistic that as a rebel in 2024, we can one gardener, one homesteader, one family at a time, take back our happiness, our self-sufficiency, our independence, and work toward a common good. Politicians and governments will always try to divide the left from the right. And in doing that, they take the very few things that we are on opposite sides on and inflame them to make it seem like those are the biggest, most important things. And anyone who believes differently than you is the enemy. We're really not that different and divided. I have the opportunity as a, uh, a YouTuber with a large audience and able to see what a large swath of people are thinking about. I'm optimistic because I, what I believe and what I see is that we're more alike than we are different. I believe that the average person like me, you, are good. Turn off the news and tune in to our humanity. Someone in the comments of the last video said that the way they think about it is if you see a headline and it stresses you out immediately, you feel that stress building, it was designed to do that. And if you look deeper, the meat and potatoes of whatever that article happens to be, it's probably not what they're making it out to be. Fear sells and fear controls. And that leads us back here. There's a lot less fear in community. 
and I need your support. All of your comments in the last video really encouraged me. In fact, after giving it a lot of thought, I've decided to go ahead and put the content from the last video here on Next Level Garden. Because a wider audience needs to be aware of what's going on and to not allow one more stumbling block in the way of them and growing their own food. It's gonna be the same meat and potatoes of the video that I did uh, this last time, um, but it's gonna be packaged a little bit differently. And it's gonna come out on Sunday. Uh, I had originally intended for our Garden From Scratch series to begin on Sunday. However, we're getting rained out on that. So, fortuous, fortuous, so fortuous, fortuitously, word, so serendipitously, so serendipitously, uh, that spot has opened up and I'm gonna plug this video in. Now, I know a lot of you on this channel follow me on Next Level Gardening, so part of that video is gonna be old news to you. Uh, I would ask if you could possibly still hit play and let it run, um, hit like, because it's gonna push that out to a wider audience that if you feel they need to hear about this, do those things. Um, there will be some new information though. I am super excited to announce a new series on Next Level Gardening, partially spurred on by this. Um, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is, I'm gonna tease it just a little bit. But I'm more excited about it than almost anything I've done on either channel. Do you guys who were with me back in 2020, do you remember Self-Sufficient Sunday and Tomato Tuesday? I think it's bigger than that. So anyway, how do we transition out of this into a normal video? I know. You're not having it today? No zoomies? Come on, give the people what they want. I tried. So yesterday, after not being able to catch that gopher with this tree here, I put out four traps. And one is showing yellow. Did I get him? I think I did. Feels so good. Still have to move that tree though, I'm not trusting it. But a lot of you had questions about these fabric raised beds. The brand is Grassroots. I've had these for what, two years now? Grew a massive amount of sweet potatoes in both of these this last season. Typically in our dry climate, fabric containers don't work too well. Um, that's where grassroots are different. And I think we still have a discount code. Uh, if so, I'll put it down below in the description and the link and everything. But these braised beds have a waterproof liner, food safe in them. It goes down to about right here. There's about three inches at the bottom that does not. So that keeps most of the moisture inside the bed that would normally evaporate out the sides. But what fabric containers are good for is root pruning and they develop a strong root system uh, for you. So this still has that on the bottom three inches where most of the roots grow down to. So anyway, you wanted to know, there it is. It's really sunny right now, but like I mentioned, we're expecting a lot of rain. We uh, are supposed to get a lot tomorrow. Tomorrow's a 100% chance, like all day, maybe an inch or two of rain. I don't know where you live, but here that's a lot. And then day after tomorrow, we're supposed to get at 70% for an all day rain. And then we've got like three or four days and then an entire week of rain coming up. Now that could change, of course, but whew, we might be about to be inundated and some more flooding going on. So I will keep you updated. Somebody's snoozing. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, sweetheart. No biting. Oh, he's so good, girl. Okay, okay, okay. Looks like you stayed warm last night and dry, really dry. It rained all day and all night long. Just up until about an hour ago and now it's glorious out here. I was able to check on things when I took Noah to school this morning, kind of driving down the lane and uh, it looks like we don't have too much more erosion or flooding. Now, as of right now, we've got more rain coming this, this 
next week. I think three or four days of it could change, of course. So between the rain and just other logistical things, um, I'm trying to figure out what's next on the to-do list. I don't know when Bill will be back with the tractor. So I'm kind of at a standstill on this wall because this dirt has to be taken down a little bit more. I could get the gravel and fill in behind and have it ready. Down here at the bottom, you know, all of this up here is gonna be the formal English garden. And that will end right here at this wall. So it'll be all that area coming down and then this wall will go across. But I can't make the wall go across until all of this dirt is at the level it needs to be because Bill has to come right through here with the tractor. So that's on hold. So since we have the new series coming up on Next Level Gardening in the Cottage Garden, probably be up here working to get ready for that. So if you've been here a while, you know all these eucalyptus logs that I built these uh, terraces out of were here on the property when we moved in. There's still a bunch left and I need to finish this off. So it's gonna come up here and then hold up this bank right here. So it'll go across that way. Now I have all this wood saved from some eucalyptus trees we took down prepping the pasture for Daisy. And all of this wood is gonna be used to make a cottage garden fence and arbor with a climbing rose. And so I'm gonna get the logs in to finish off these terraces. That shouldn't take very long at all, especially now that the dirt is really soft and then start building that garden fence. So it's two or three days later since I filmed the beginning of this video where I was talking about how my previous video had started to take off. It's taken off even more. In fact, I've been on YouTube five years and I've seen some pretty good growth. I've never seen a video do what this one's doing. Um, I must have struck a chord with people. <laughs> I think a lot more people felt the way I did than I thought. So to all of you new subscribers who just joined within this last three days, welcome. I'm so glad to have you guys here. Aren't we glad? Aren't we glad? I'm optimistic that we can work together and support each other, all while creating a productive, beautiful space for ourselves that we can relax in and be happy in while the world rages outside. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you'd like to see from me. I would appreciate that. I kind of feel like this channel has taken on new meaning for me. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'll see you guys next time.